<coughs> okay. We'll see where this goes. Most likely, I'm just doing this for the fuck of it. If I do put this up, I wanna, I wanna send a shout out to all you real motherfuckers who uh, inspire me and encourage me. To keep putting myself out there. To keep putting aspects of myself out there. <clears throat> and so this is kind of an inspiration from uh, UV. Uh, Yuvraj Patel's video. Of uh, going kind of in depth on... Where he's coming from, as in like his past, his upbringing, and whatnot. And I wanted to share a little bit of this. I want to share a lot bit of this, but we'll we'll see how, how far we go into it. Um. It's hard to find the words whenever words fail to convey the essence and the energy and the inspiration. But I mean, uh, if you haven't already caught on, like the, this is kind of uh, what we're doing here. And so, huh, there, there's so many things with, with, with what you guys are presenting and what... <laughs> I have uh, ah, been wanting to unleash. So it's a uh, it's a beautiful flowering and a uh, coming forth a gnosis. So yeah, that's kind of something I wanted to touch upon uh, shortly is becoming aware of everything around you, uh, of what's always been there. You can say one thing, you can say that, you know, we're everything. You can say that we are spirit and that we always, that, that whenever we, hmm. But saying this and then knowing it, essentially, you know, I'm I'm not here to argue about semantics. That's that's we've been doing this for a long time. This 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 language, these linguistics that we have been taught to utilize, uh, that we have been indoctrinated into. It it favors argumentation and uh, especially if you're brought up in a in a system that favors kind of a, a debate as in debating over semantics right or wrong and, uh, this is this was the intent upon the creation of this fucking Babylonian system of destroying ourselves, destroying our our original language. But we couldn't really like destroy it completely, so what was done is a uh, a mass confusion, 
a manipulation of sorts. And I am very much looking forward to sharing some stories with you guys of our origins. And from a place, and I'm very happy that I'm presenting this right now so that I'm not, before I do this, I'm not coming from a place or hopefully having uh, people think that I'm coming from a place where uh, I'm saying that this is fact, (laughs) you know. Um, I'm presenting a story here. Um, I'm going to present a narrative. And uh, it's up to the individual to decide what is real for them, always, in all ways. This is what is uh, becoming so, uh, hmm, what's the word? Coming to the forefront of like uh, with social media, with with certain narratives and and certain uh, outlets, uh, the reinforcement of the disillusionment of the narrative that we've been taught to believe in. And presented it in a way that it's it's uh, made made to put any opposing like arguments. It, it's um, presented in a way that anything that goes against that is absolutely ridiculous and. Uh, It's it's a fault of our education system, which which is not inaccurate at all, because our our education system is an indoctrination system. And so, uh, to be honest, like I've been I've been uh, hearing a lot of like uh, the youth speak upon. A lot of a lot of different topics, and it, it's very uh, depressing. It's extremely depressing, and it initiates uh, certain energies within me that uh, I have to calm. Uh, I have to realize uh, the time period that we are in and the energies that have already put themselves out there and built the bridge that will help humanity across this uh, time period that we're in right now and uh, a certain mentality is not like they they have uh, absolutely adopted the narrative of the false reality Of what they've been told to believe. And so they have made their choice in their progression. So what I am talking about is the spark of humanity that knows better uh, intuitively. Uh, that's the bridge that we have built. Uh, we, we have built the bridge for for that spark. 
that it is carried over and we are able to really understand, understand uh, why we have been going through what we've been going through over and over and over. Um, so like I'm, I'm touching upon like a lot, lot very uh, hmm, aspects that it's not going to be really comprehensible for for a lot of people, and this isn't coming from a place of you know, oh I, <laughs> I know better than you. This is coming from a place of uh, ah words. Words fail to detail and create a accurate picture here. The true uh, causalities of why, you know, all the all the little little kids ask, you know, and they keep asking why, 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 and you know. At first, it's because they really want to know, but but eventually it gets to a point because uh, they know that they are agitating uh, the the people or the uh, adults or uh, it's not an adult, it's a adult that that can't answer their questions. So they keep asking the question why because they know that there's a very uh, finite cap to their mentalities and they will very, uh, very quickly become agitated I just had this happen to me earlier today with the why 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 with with my little nephew and and also my my niece which was interesting because she she you know, uh, took it upon herself to, to keep trying to answer these whys, and, um, I'm, I'm very, uh, curious upon why, <laughs> there you go, upon, uh, how she, uh, came upon some of her answers, upon, uh, um, why she drew upon some of the things she drew upon to answer, uh, as, such as, well, if that's because that's how God made it. Hmm. She's very young, so I'm very curious to where she heard this from. And her own understanding of this. Uh, as it is right now. And this is also kind of like a big shout out to Yuvraj as well. Because I'm going to hopefully start to... Shed light upon where I'm coming from uh, a little bit, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. I mean, we've all come from certain certain degrees of uh, separation and traumas and uh, realizations uh, of just just how much an effect those have had upon us, which is an a whole other thing to realize the effect that that. Um, our upbringing has had upon us. But as it is right now, I, I'm on the precipice of uh, a lot of things beginning to uh, become, uh, just just like this image here, <laughs> come into fruition. <clears throat> and it's been a long time coming, peoples. And I'm I'm speaking to the peoples who uh, who have done um, a lot of inner work for themselves. To have asked like uh, a, a lot of deeper questions and, and deeper, and not necessarily questions that you can have answers to, but just questions like. Like the whys, you know? Why is it the way it is right now? 
and then and then sitting with that and allowing the universe to present the answer to you, which always is what happens. Is that the the issue is we are the blockage, the mentality we have been taught to and indoctrinated into blocks us from allowing the answer allowing the answers to come in gnosis integration of the wisdom allowing the answers within the question to present themselves <laughs> so yeah, th this video here is about uh, the books called The Ringing Cedars of Russia. And an idea within those books is an idea of a kin's domain. And essentially it's uh, an idea of uh, how to have an eco-village, but uh, basically the purest way to do this, the most beneficial way to the human spirit and the human body. So that life thrives and is all interconnected and there's no separation anymore. There's a realization of, of the interconnectedness with all things. Down to the very min most minute thing. That everything, every single thing has a purpose. And so, uh, in presenting this stuff here, I know I'm going to be, be uh, you know, uh, kind of in contest with, with a lot of people that think that not, since, not necessarily that city living is the way to go about it, but that they they've kind of been uh caught in the web that we are progressing or evolving with how we are living and some of the things I'm gonna present here is or or show here is uh is basically showing how far we've devolved and, and and went away from the true essence. And this is a big thing about like reading these books and, and having people like, oh, well, are you saying we should just all go live in the forest? No. This is not what is being said here. What is being said is, here is that we have to come to a realization of our true essence and purpose, our pure positions 
of who and what we are and our our, our responsibility here in, in becoming con uh, constant gardeners and caretakers of the land and of the realms. And yes, it can take form in people moving straight out into the land like this and then creating their own little buildings, say, uh, from whatever kind of material they want to use to, uh, it, it can take the form of transforming their own little, uh, urban or suburban homes into a more life-filled and enriched space. There's no wrong or right here. There's just a progress progression towards truth and the affinity towards that of our true essence and past and realizing the lies that are being propagated uh, very strongly закончила высшее образование, экономист, но, понимаете, работала по профессии, но работала, чтобы заработать средства, чтобы было для воплощения мечты. The hidden combinations in the text will resonate in the reader's soul in their pristine form with no distortion. They are bearers of truth and feeling, and they will fill the soul with inspiration. No artificial instrument is capable of producing what resonates in the soul. Okay, and that is a uh, a text that is said before one reads the Ringing Cedars of Russia uh, books. And it depends on, on what um, which which book you get because uh, there are books that have been uh, reproduced of this that uh, have changed the lettering and the syllables and the essences. But this is something that uh, also people will see and they'll be like, oh, okay, this is new age shit. Like, I'm not going to waste my time with this. And I understand where everyone's coming from with, with certain things. <sighs> but uh, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. And also the proof is in eating the pudding and consuming the pudding and putting the pudding to the test and realizing that you are the pudding. So if something resonates with you, then yes, like any praise for that is going to be uh, uh, validified uh, by you. But if something doesn't resonate with you in the moment, then you're, you're not going to take any praise that anything has for that subject at the time period, but that doesn't mean that it's still not valid. That just means that you weren't in a place right then and there where that message uh, could be absorbed. And that's not right or wrong, necessarily. It's just where we're at at that moment in time. by Nick Grant. Uh, yes, it was very interesting for us to know the truth about the earth. It was uh, it was very nice to accept by ourselves.
together. And uh, yes, we decided when I was next time pregnant with uh, our son, George, um, we changed our mind. We were directors of tour company oh, yes. and uh, we earned very well. Well, and I'm going to say that, um, okay, first of all, like I've seen, uh, watched many people who have came, uh, it's, it's the very similar thing where they, they came from the inner city living. They have, they had, uh, very wealthy jobs and then they read these books and uh, it's not hmm. it doesn't matter what you read or what anything that you're presented with in life what matters is the feelings that you get so the feelings that people get within these things that that's what's most important here. So I, I've watched many interviews where people have had wealthy jobs and wealthy lifestyles and they feel the message within these books and and it's not even just just within the books. It's that these books re present a clarity of the things that everyone feels within themselves Every single person feels these things. It says that it's just that few will come out and, and speak upon them because um, of the ostracization that, that happens, of the outcasting that happens. So, yeah, a lot of people have had uh, a lot of. Uh, wealthy and money rich lives and they feel the things within these books and the essence here and and they realize that you know money does not matter at all compared to the the richness and spirit that you will experience whenever you live this kind of lifestyle which is being fully immersed in nature and once again, I'm not saying that the answer here is, is just to run away into the forest. I'm saying that this is our origins. And I'm saying that we are working our way back to this. And that that's going to take the form uh, in, in many different facets and, and modalities and, and practices. And, and nothing's wrong uh, here and how we approach this. But the focus is 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 what's most important. The, the awareness of what's really most important. The felt connection, the felt experience whenever you're in nature, whenever you're growing your own plants and, and always in connection and communion with them and in and, and a realization that they are they are growing in your own benefit they are they are growing for you so that you can be healthier and happier and experience their essence and their aura and their smells, their ethers, the pollens, and then that will enrich and enliven your spirit. This is, this is our origins here. This is what we have been led away from. But we were counting how many things we can buy. New television, new apartment, new car, next car, next apartment. What will be next? So it was mm. not uh, fulfilled. Yeah, 
сам, на самом деле идея создания родовых поместий э, очень впечатлила э, прочитанная и раз... That's probably all I'll present with this one. Um, there's a lot of videos that, that I want to share um, in regards to this. There's a lot that I want to say here. There's a lot that um, I'm going to go towards here with this. But I'm also coming from a place, um, you can say, like a healthy skepticism in that uh, intuitively, I, I know that this stuff is, is very, this is where uh, we're all heading, but I, I also am very aware of the cycles that we keep repeating. Uh, human nature, I'm very acutely aware of human nature. So before I dive headfirst into this stuff, I need to be sure for, for myself um, that it's not going to be all for nothing once again because this is not anything new here that I'm going to be presenting. This is stuff that, uh, this, this, is, this is our origins, but we keep going through cycles uh, of touching upon this, of uh, going towards the false narrative of uh, evolution and progression and te technocratic uh, bullshit of systems and compartmentalizations and corporations. So before I go fully in and start really presenting a lot of the meat here with this stuff. Um, I need to do the work that I need to do and that I need to guarantee that this is going to become a reality. And that's not to say that, that it hasn't already been guaranteed because if you dive into this stuff uh, and really feel it, you'll feel that this is where we're heading. But, once again, I'm coming from a place where I still have all the traumas uh, inside of me of, of all of our cycles of our past that we keep repeating. So, uh, there's, there's a part of me here that's like... Uh, is this too good to be true? Is this uh, just another thing here where we see the light, but then the darkness once again uh, grabs hold of our roots and corrupts from the bottom up? So I'm going to be presenting ideas um, of, of how we can create these uh, kin's domains, but, but also the idea here, the philosophy, and, and make sure that we do it right this time and not in a way that The bullshit power struggles uh, are left to potentially dwell in, in certain human human forms, human mentalities, to where over time we are overtaken by the manipulation and the power of suggestion. I have a lot to fu I have a fucking lot to say here. I have a lot to present. I, I, I want to make sure that I don't come off too strong. That I don't come off in a way where I scare too many people away. Because of... Uh, 
Hmm. Because I know why we are repeating these cycles. And uh, for those of you who are able to go out of body and uh, flip time space and, and so that you can go and look with, with a level of clarity and, and decisiveness of our true origins, you will, uh, you will come to a place where you, you can only go so far before you reach a barrier of, of our past. And uh, I'm here to help. Understand why that barrier is there. And this has to do with AI, this has to do with the alien influence, and this has to do with everything. And I'm not against anything, like uh, the, the suppression that is upon us right now. This is not just of our own doing, this is because of the influences uh, beyond us, but like ultimately like we are the ones choosing it absolutely but we have to realize um our creation that we are aspects of all the universal energies so whenever one uh aspect of of that energy decides that it wants to influence us and, and a certain aspect of say a certain top tier of humanity then uh, they are able to kind of play all of us as puppets and govern the mentalis and the mindset of the majority of humanity here. So I want to start presenting some uh, ideas of uh, maybe why that is, maybe ways to... Uh, uh, come out of that, uh, of realizing uh, what you are, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean diving into research, diving into books, diving into studies. More than that, what that means is diving into yourself. Allowing yourself to have time with just you and nature and, and remembering how to listen to the living book that's all around you. Remembering how to read from that book. So in presenting this stuff, I'm well aware of the backlash I'm going to get, and uh, that's fine. I'm not coming from a place where I think that we should all just run to the forest and live there. I'm, I'm coming from a place of we're not taught our, our, our actual, our factual origins. So we don't really understand. Our connections with everything. And, and with the earth and with all of the elements and all of the realms. We don't truly understand the corruption that has happened. So I, I'm, I'm hoping to shed light upon that in presenting some of these ideas from these books. And this is also, I wanted to say real quick before I end this, I'm not coming from a place where, oh, these books have 100% facts 
and uh, kind of like, you know, a Christian presenting the Bible. Like, I'm not saying that this is the word of God. I'm saying that this is the word of man and woman. Actualized woman. And man. I'm saying that I'm presenting this information in the form of I have read this, I have uh, integrated it uh, somewhat. I am still in the process of doing so. But um, like with uh, many, many, many of us, um, this stuff uh, spoke to me immediately from the first time I read this stuff. I w I I realized that I don't need to ever read anything ever again because this of what this stuff presented uh, for me, for me per specifically, purposely for me. There's no purpose in reading anything anymore because. All that is left is actualizing, going out and living it. And that's, that's going to be, that's going to teach you way more than anything you can ever read in a book. Going out in nature and gardening and living and experiencing and learning directly. There's no book that can teach you those things. You have to go and live it and experience. This is what Gnosis is. Diving into it for yourself. So yeah. We'll see if I put this up or not. This this may or may not be an introductory into this stuff. Uh, for me. For me presenting this. So yeah. Breaking Cedars of Russia... If if you want access to these books, hit me up and I will give you the links. And if you do decide to read them, do so in a manner that you, you don't have any, any other person's uh, opinion of the books weighing upon you. Dive into them for yourself. These books will change your life. Guarantee it. I fucking guarantee it. Beyond the books, realize that you are the book and that, and that these things, anything that I present, anything that anyone presents to you, it's just a reminder of what's already within you. And that's exactly what these things are, these books. The idea that's presented here is a reminder of what you have forgotten, of what you have been taught, indoctrinated into suppressing. These books will release this within you, that you don't need to suppress it anymore. You can go out and live it. Live the, live the truth and... Not just live your truth, but realize through direct experience the connections that you have with everything around you. The living matrix. It's all in communion. All you have to do is remember how to listen to it. Remember how to commune. It's all within you.